Hello. Hello. I'm Masha. I'm Nastya. And I'm Karina. And we are going to talk about uh, Nizhny Novgorod region and about our handicrafts. Nizhny Novgorod region had long been famous for its crafts. It was here that more than 204 crafts originated in and developed. Many of them have been widely recognized not only in Russia, but also abroad. We admire the bright and cheerful Khochlama painting, products with uh, intricate uh, Palko Maidan painting, chest with Gorodetsky painting. We are inspired by the fabulous patterns of hand weaving, graceful gold embroidery and skull of Gipil, the craftsmanship of which has been passed down from generation to generation for hundreds of years. All this is a precious uh, heritage of the Nizhny Longwood region. The Khlama painting is an ancient Russian folk handicraft. The painting originated in the 17th century of the left bank of the Volga, in the villages of Betra and Marle Bizlie, Muskina, Shabashi and Glibina. There are two main types of Khlama painting, over, red and black on a golden background, and under the background, golden pattern on a colored background. Zverovska painting, one of the symbols of Russia, is a traditional Russian matryoshka, a bright, elegant beauty with pink uh, shakes uh, and uh, scarlet roses on her apron. The ascent for craft uh, of making wooden uh, toys with paintings uh, originated in Nizhny Novgorod province uh, at the beginning of the 20th century. On a blank piece of wood, the artist of the Simonov painting drew the contour with the goose feather. Eventually they began to draw with a silk pen. The eyebrows on the doll's face were drawn in an arc. The eyes were drawn wide open and the noise two small dots. Next they outlined a scarf with a knot and the two tips, outlined the hands and apron, painted a sundress and flowers. Folk of Maidanska painting, one of the most interesting handicraft of Russian masters is folk of Maidan painting. The production of famous Tarushka toys with bright in in crocade paintings originated uh, in the village of Polk of Maidan Voznesensky district in the end of the 18th century. Polk of Maidan painting is usually well recognizable as there are a number of signs characteristic only for it. The nominating colors are yellow and dark blue or called red and green. Kazako filigree, metalwork. In Russia, the metalwork was known for a very long time. Filigree products are found in the excavation of burial mounds of the 9th century. The village of Kazakovo in the Nizhny Novgorod region became one of the largest centers of metalwork. The main types of art products are three-dimensional objects, cup holders, candy balls, food plants, toys, bones, books, uh, casters, vases, wall plants, uh, women's jewelry. The ornament is mainly plants, a, fl a flower with long petals, long leaves with uh, curls. This is an ancient type of folk crafts of uh, Nizhny Novgorod region. In such districts of uh, the region as Bogorodsky, Gorodetsky, Bolshobaldinsky and uh, numbers of uh, overs. The traditions of pottery craft have been preserved. The city of Bogorodsk is one of the oldest centers of pottery in Russia. Bogorodsk pottery made a wide variety of pottery Krinky, hand washers, trays, and uh, even samovars. The leather industry was widespread in many settlements of the Nizhny Novgorod district, but it uh, received special development in the villages of Tatarska and uh, Lapsle. The products of Nizhny Novgorod tenors uh, were the most uh, diverse. Folk art handicraft are our history. They carry the heritage of our ancestors. Handicraft will never die. They come out of the people, and it is the people that will preserve them.